Hey guys, how is it going? How are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? I am Amy if you're returning. Welcome back. So you guys are probably thinking like, okay, where's Amy? Why isn't she on camera? What's going on? Um, I'm just really tired tonight, guys. I'm so tired and I've been so busy with the kids and busy with getting everything ready for college and getting everything ready for the kids to go back to school and you know of course spirit has his own agenda so they want me to do um, a quick reading for you guys so honestly I always tell you guys take this reading however you need to sometimes it'll resonate sometimes it won't um, but yeah, so I just didn't feel like being on camera, but I have to deliver a message to somebody. So I am laying in my bed. So this is your view tonight. So anyways, I am going to be using two decks for you guys. I'm going to be using the Mystical. I know you guys can't see it. And the Goddess Power. So what I'm hearing for you guys for um, the first message is that you're being asked to face your fears release the power of fear so it says everyone experiences fear in some way to trump over your fear you need to understand it and only then can you release its power over you fear has a subtle way of showing you the dark side of yourself immobilizing you stealing your freedom and courage fear can also show you that something is worth fighting for and is an opportunity to build courage and a brave heart. The magic of nature and your angels will encourage you to overcome fear of things like change, loneliness, and the unknown. You can be brave to face these challenges. So whenever you see this message, whenever you guys come across this video, I really feel like what Spirit is saying is that you might be going through situations, you might be going through, you know, problems with connections, relationships, friendships, and, you know, it could be work-related, family-related, whatever the whatever circumstances are, right? I feel like Spirit is saying, at, at some point in your life, you have to be able to face the hurdles. You have to be able to face the challenges and the obstacles and on all of that stuff that we are being thrown at every single day. And it's it, it's releasing being afraid of that. It's, it's seeing these as not fears but more as opportunities opportunities to learn right so i really feel like what's happening is that some of you have to understand that there are situations in your life where spirit is saying like yes some of these are worth fighting for but some of these are not also worth fighting for there comes a point in your life where you have to say like what am i learning from this connection what is this connection serving me if this connection is not of your highest good, then maybe it's taking a look at facing that fear to leave that connection behind, knowing that there's something bigger and better around the corner, okay? Because I really feel like you've come to a roadblock or you've come to some type of crossroad where Spirit is saying, like, you have the choice right now to decide what the next step is going to be. Whatever you decide, you have to face your fears when it comes to it, okay? So the second card coming through says originality, uh, blaze your own trail. And this one says, you are a go-getter and a free spirit by nature. You exhibit originality, courage, and defiance. You were born to succeed and breathe excitement, love, and life into the lives of others. Despite your chaotic ways and gregatricious nature, you are loving and generous. So, this mantra says, love me without fear, trust me without wondering, love me without restriction, and love me without demands. I am worth it. Okay? So, this is, this to me is, once you come to that conclusion, once you come to that place of facing your fears, it's blazing your own trail. It's, it's blazing your own pathway. It's knowing that you are worth everything good that is coming your way. In, even if at some levels or some point in your life you've had a lot happen to you, Spirit is saying, like, you have so much good coming to you, but you're so afraid to be happy, if that makes any sense. Like, I really feel like that's a strong message for someone, is that 
you've been through the worst of the storms and now it's like spirit is opening up so many new doorways for you but there's still this bitter part of you that feels like you're not worthy of like new beginnings or or new chances or new opportunities right so it's just knowing that you are a free spirit by nature that you need to have more courage within yourself that you were born for the things that you know called to you or you were born to the things that light you up or you know desperate all of the bad that may have happened to you don't see it as bad see it as like opportunities just to move forward um and, and be your own hero be your own best friend you know at the end of the day just just do what you feel in your heart is the right thing that you need to be doing whenever you see this video okay so the goddess card coming through for you guys says assurance so it says, the appearance of the Silic Earth Goddess Dinu, who gave birth to magic, pertains to the fulfillment of your desires and the fruition of your dreams. Whatever it is that you're inquiring about, Dinu gives her assurance that you're in the process of becoming. Now is the time to trust that whatever you have planted, plant and work towards, is being lovingly birthed. All you need to do is stay with the flow of events and be ready for your next opportunity. Everything has its perfect season. Just as fellow ground carries the promise of new life that appears again in the spring, as if magically binded from the invisible to the visible, Denyu offers her promise of grounded assurance. So this is just saying, like, you have so much spirit. You have so much God. You have so much assurance. Like, And some of you are looking for assurance, but I feel like not for a lot of you, for a little bit of you, you're looking for assurance in the wrong place, if that makes any sense. For some of you, you need more reassurance. It's like you need more reassurance when it comes to relationship or when it comes to your job. And I think it's based on the fact that maybe so many people have let you down that it's like you're accustomed to that. You're accustomed to being let down. So it's like you really need more and more and more reassurance. But Spirit is kind of saying you need to be you need to be able to find that reassurance within yourself. Okay. So there are days when you wonder if you're on the right track, if your dreams are valid, if you have what it takes to show up and shine. You may have hit a dry spell where it appears that nothing is happening and it makes you doubt yourself. When this earth goddess appears, she is reminding you of the promise of new life. Just as fields are often left purposely follow, perhaps this seemingly dry spell of yours is really a preparational time. Under the ground of your visible life lies the steam of abundance. That is feeding the roots of the seedings of your in intentions planted in your field of dreams. Go about your day-to-day -day life with faith. Jen Yu assures you that the form of your desire will show up in the divine timing in an even more magical way than you can imagine, okay? So it's all divine timing for most of you right now. And it's about um, understanding your roots. It's about understanding like the, the seeds that you have planted. They're starting to sprout. Everything that you're wishing for, everything that you're wishing um, a, like beyond everything that you've been manifesting it's just saying everything is co-creating everything is working out in your favor but you just need to have a little more faith today all right guys so that's what i have for you sending you guys love and light until next time take care